Hey, welcome, I'm Andy. Today we're going to go through some of the new features in Steinberg's amazing new drum plugin, Groove Agent 4. So let's go check it out. So let's have a look at the interface. It may seem familiar to some people that have used Groove Agent SE before. We've got the pads on the left hand side with the banks above it. But the most interesting thing about Groove Agent 4 is now the fact that we have acoustic kits in here. So up here on these four slots, I've got a vintage kit, I've got a uh, rock kit, a studio kit, and every percussion instrument basically that you can think of that would go on a percussion section. Um, each kit has two kick drums, so we've got variations there, and two snare drums. So it may seem quite interesting that we're sitting in a studio here to talk about something like Groove Agent 4, but obviously we've taken great care to record this with the best drum kits in the world, um, the best microphones in a great room, and we've done that because not everyone can record drums in a great room with great mics, with great outboard gear. So we've done all that work for you. So at home, in your bedroom, in your mum's bedroom, I've recorded everywhere around the house. We can actually go in and use this plugin and get the desired sound to fit the project that we want. Um, the other thing I want to show you now is actually how we can manipulate the drum sounds to make it fit within your project and your genre. So I'm working with a vintage kit here um, and you can see as I click on different parts of the kit I get parameters down the bottom. So I can change each of these individual parameters to suit the part of the kit that I'm working with. Now I've got an Aussie accent but I live in London or in Britain because I love the big British sound which means that drum kits were recorded in orchestral studios. So if we want that large kind of sound all we need to do is increase things like the room and even the overheads. So the overheads might be further away than they would be in, say, an American studio, traditionally. Even the kick, if I want to, sorry, the kick, if I want to increase that, I can just move the room sound up and it'll increase, I guess, the, the atmosphere or the environment around the kit. But if we want more of a tight American sound, we can bring that back down. Yeah, which gives us a much more controlled, I guess, perfect sound. So it's it's whatever you're after to fit, I guess, the project that you're working on. So you can actually use these individual parameters to uh, affect the sound of the drum kit around your track. So it's always important to be able to, I guess, get the environment of the drum kit right on its own. Um, so we're talking about things like, you know, envelope, the amount of room and bleed that we've got through the drum kit. But one of the most important parts about working with drums is the actual mix stage. Um, so we need to mix it in with the rest of the track or even mix the drums in with each other. And this will really dictate uh, what kind of drum sound we're going to come up with. So I'm going to move across this menu to the mix men menu and you can see along the top here we've actually got groups and then we can go in and see the individual uh, parts. So we've recorded these drums with up to 20 microphones. So there's a lot of microphones around the kit and around the room so there's lots of room to move in terms of shaping the actual environment of the drum kit. So for instance let's take the kick drum for starters um, we've got EQ, a compressor, a tape saturation and an envelope shaper on each channel. So if I want to really brighten up the drums, I can just add a bit of attack there and that's really sharpened up that kick drum. Um, even down to things like the room, if we move the room sound up, you can see how that's really opening up the drum kit. Um, so some interesting techniques are not just to open the room up, but to do things like go to the auxiliary send. And you can see here on my third auxiliary send, I've actually got a distortion effect. Um, so I've actually put some distortion on here and if I go back to my agent and now move the distortion up and let's bring it down probably a bit too much we can completely change the sound of that room mic so we can distort it and make it sound a little bit edgier. The other thing that's always important to do is to give your drums some atmosphere. When we're mixing drums we're basically tricking people into thinking the drums may have been recorded in different rooms so quite often I might use a different reverb on my snare than I would say for instance over the, the whole entire kit. So we, once again you can go in and see just how many effects there are inside of Groove Agent 4 and we can go in and of course edit the different parameters and then come back to the agent and increase the amount of send we're actually sending to these effects. So it's not just the microphones, it's not just the room or the outboard gear, it's the actual fact that we've got so many routing possibilities here within Groove Agent 4 to work with during the mix stage. So I've been talking a lot about manipulating the actual acoustic drum sounds and mixing them, um, but sometimes you know, we go away from a project and we come back and maybe we think a track just needs a bit more beefing up. So there's a number of ways we can do that. We can do it in the mix, um, I guess in the mix window as we've already seen. But another thing we can do is actually merge sounds. Now Groove Agent is quite flexible, um, I guess, because we've got these four different slots up the top. So 
you can see we've got our three different acoustic kits, but we can also go through and actually load any number of kits through this section here, and that's through the media bay. So that's one way of doing it. The other way we could do it is actually go to the browser and work our way through different kits. So now what I'm going to do is use this kit, but I'm going to add a little bit of the kick drum from this electric kit over here. So I'm going to hit play and just watch how I can go through and scroll through these sounds and actually preview them and see if they fit with my track. So let's move down, hit enter, and you can see just how many sounds there are here to work with. But one of the beautiful things about this is, is that you don't just have to use the thousands of sounds that come with Groove Agent 4, you can actually use your own sounds. So we're not limiting you just to the sounds that we provide with the actual content. You can bring your own sounds in from whatever library you want. Um, so for instance here, I'm going to have a kick and a sub, so let's type that in, and you can see how easy it is to find your favorite sounds. You can also rate them as well, by the way, if you want. So let's click on this guy, and now, yeah, we've got some nice sub added to our mix, and we can come over here and just use the mixer just to blend that in with our actual kick drum. So, it's, uh, it's quite flexible in terms of not just being able to mix stuff and not, I guess not just being able to add effects to it, but also to blend um, a number of kits together in the one actual um, VST plugin. So thanks for stopping by to check out Groove Agent 4 in terms of the acoustic agent. I hope you've picked up some tips on actually using the, uh, the drum kit with your project. There's lots of other tutorials on the website, so please check them out and uh, stop by soon. Cheers.